Hey, Cameron McKenzie here at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to programmatically create some data tables in UiPath using the Create Data Table tool, and I'm gonna do some cool other things too, like append some data to it and even write it to an Excel file. As always, I'll kick this off by creating a new project, and I'll call it the Add Append Data Table create Excel, because these are all the things that I'm gonna do in this particular project. And as soon as the project window starts up, I'll open the main workflow. And the first thing that I'm gonna add on here is a build data table activity. So you can find available programming data table, build data table, drop that on here, and you're on your way to building crazy data tables. Now, when you do this, you need a variable to hold all the data in your data table. So I'm gonna create a variable called my data table and it's gonna be of type data table, system.data table. That doesn't come up right away. You can always browse for types and look for data table. There's a million of them. Make sure you pick the right one. It's system.data.data table. And now you can associate this build data table with that variable you just created, my data table. So now you're gonna be able to use that on multiple operations as you add data to the data table. Now this actually creates a really lame data table because it's only got two columns in it. And if you create a data table, you wanna create three columns because three columns are cool. So I'll call that the third column. It'll be of type string and the default value I'll just make it third, and you can see here, and that was just by clicking this button here to add the column. So you see I got one column here, and I'll call that the first column. The second one is of type in, I'll call that the second column. It's of type int, it allows nulls, and then I got the third column I created. So there you go, that's how you create a basic data table with three columns in it. Now. What do you want to do? This is going to be blank. Actually, it's not going to be blank. It actually is going to put text one and third in the table automatically. So if you don't want default values in there for the first record, you can delete those. But we're going to do it. The more the merrier. But I want to have more than one row in that data table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for that add data row activity. And it's right there. Data table, add data row. I'm going to drag this below here. Now, what data table do I want to work with? Well. It's called my data table. So I'll click on add data row, put my data table in there. And then you've got this option for array row to add an array of values in here. And it's just the basic array syntax. I wanna say, well, the first variable is a string. The second one is an int. Third one is a string as well. And now that adds one more row to the data table. I'm gonna, oh, what's the warning that I've got there? Uh, one or more children have validation errors in it. And it would appear that I didn't close my, I didn't put a column in after the one. Yeah, well that would be worthwhile doing. Yeah, just make sure that, uh, make sure you got the right syntax, because if it doesn't compile, it's not gonna work. I would forgot the comma after the one, right? There's three different columns that we need to work with. Okay, with that done, I'm gonna copy that and then paste it twice. And then in the second column, I'm gonna change it to goodbye world and put the number two in there. And then for the third column, goodbye world kind of sounds a little suicidal. So I'm gonna say I'm back and I'm happy uh, and put the number three in there for world. And there we go. We should have four, call, four rows in our data table. The uh, default values, text one and third and then the three different rows that I've added. Now again, make sure that each of these rows has my data table as the data table type there. If you don't, you'll end up with null runtime exceptions. We do not want those. Okay, so essentially for as far as creating a data table goes and adding rows to a data table, I'm done. But it's always nice to get some visual feedback to make sure that you've actually done all of this properly. So why not write all of this to an Excel file? So this project called Add Append Data Table Create Excel, I'm gonna find that in my UiPath folder, there it is. And inside the project's root, I'm gonna create a brand new Excel worksheet. And I'm gonna call this append add.xlsx. Didn't mean to open it. Well, when you open it, you can see that it is indeed blank. There's nothing in it right now. But I'm gonna copy that name. I'm gonna copy that name, go back into UiPath, and then look for the Excel act activity that allows you to introduce an Excel application scope. 
I'm gonna drag that right down here. And in quotes, I'm gonna provide the name of that Excel file, append add Excel. It's just the file that I just created in the root of that project. And now I can manipulate that. And what do I wanna do? Well, I wanna add all the data in this data table to that Excel file. And so to do that, the operation is known as the append range. And so there's the append range activity. And I'm just gonna drag it right in there. Sheet one's the default, that's okay. And what data table do we wanna put in? Well, it's this data table here, my data table that we created and have been manipulating and adding rows to. And so this should open up that append add dot excel file append my data table to the first sheet and then close the excel file and that's about it i'm going to just going to take a quick look make sure there's no exclamation points also i like to make sure that yeah that data table is there the data table is there the data if you forget it anywhere the program's not going to run so just make sure that you've got that correct and i think this all looks good i'm going to click save and then run this file Hopefully no errors happen. Nope, it comes back and it says that it executed quickly. And I'm gonna open up this file and notice inside this file, I have those four rows. Hello, goodbye, I'm back. One, one, two, three, world, 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 third. And that one was the default that happens when you create your data table, just in case you were wondering where that one came from. When you create the data table, notice it has text one and I put third in there, but that's the columns that are automatically added to the data table initially. And there you go. That's how you create, append, and save data tables into an Excel file. And there you go. That's how you create data tables in UiPath and even do some funky stuff with them after you've created them. Uh, by the way, if uh, you want to follow me on Twitter, my handle is at CameronMCNZ. Uh, if you want to keep up with some of the articles that I'm writing, I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com. So check out that website as well. And I'd suggest maybe even subscribe on YouTube.